Hey guys, on today's show, we're going to discuss the follow-up video that a lot of you have asked about concerning the QRP guys, uh, NFED half-wave, no-tune antenna. And it uh, took me a little while to get to this, but we're going to knock it out today. So that's right here, right now on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, kind of a little uh, unorthodox for me to come out here and do a show out in my yard, but uh, such a nice day out, I figured, what the hell. Um, so a couple months ago, back when I first started my channel, this was one of the first antennas that I built, and I was probably a little out of my league at the time when I did it. And uh, But I, I did build the antenna, and I first need to apologize to all of you that watched that video. Uh, my equipment wasn't really set up at the time. I had a couple of people comment, boy, this video would have been really much better if you'd had that camera. We could have seen everything. It was kind of out of frame when I was doing it. And uh, I've since then corrected all that, and I now have all the new uh, gear to do overhead build shots and stuff. Uh, but anyway, you guys were asking about a follow-up on this video and how it works and so on and so forth. So today we're going to measure it out. Uh, we're going to get it up on a pole. I'll use the rig expert to... Uh, figure out what SWR is. And I'm gonna try two different things here. First off, um, I'm gonna get you guys the measurements, exact measurements I'm using for the bands I'm gonna use this for. And it does have different uh, lengths for the bands. So you have to have different wires, I think. We'll try it out and see. But I'm gonna try it also just using the coax by itself, use this ABR choke. Now you guys saw me use this on the spark plug antenna the other day when I did the 100 watt spark plug. I got this from ABR Industries at the Belt and Ham Fest. They ran about 30 bucks at the festival. Not sure what they run normal. You can go to abrindustries.com and, uh, or ABR, it's abrind.com. Check out, the, to see if you can find this choke on their site. I know they carry them as a regular thing. Uh, they work really well. So we're gonna try, we're gonna look at the SWR with it, without it. We're gonna look at the SWR with the choke at the antenna end and at the radio end and see what, we, what kind of differences we get from that. So. That's my plans for today. So you guys just uh, kick back, enjoy the show, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so looking at my measurements here, I'm at 28 feet, 28 feet, seven inches, or in metric, it would be uh, eight meters, 72 centimeters in length. So with that being said, 28 feet on here, oh, it looks like I'm set up for 20 meters. So according to this little tiny chart on the uh, antenna here, it tells you the different bands and what's, what length of wire you need. So it looks like I'm set up for 20, for 20 meters. So we'll get this hooked up on the pole. And I've got that right here. I got the little pole sitting up out here. So we're gonna set it up on the pole there, run a reading and see what we get. Be right back. Okay guys, so I've got the uh, QRP guys, NFED half wave, no tune antenna up on my little buddy stick pole thing and I'm only running up 25 feet up to my spider pole up top so in doing so I also added an adapter to go from uh, BNC to PL259 so if I come over here to the reading and I'm looking at the measurement for 20 meters I'm showing almost a 3.3 to 1 SWR so I've got to make some adjustments to this uh, it looks like my wire might be a little bit too long. I'm going to run another test here real quick. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, something's definitely wrong there. So we're going to go back. I'm going to make some adjustments, cut a little bit off, and uh, reset it back up, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so since we last spoke, I replaced the wire that it came with the antenna thinking that maybe there was something wrong and I replaced with some of my own soda beams wire. I just resoldered the connection down here and ran the wire back up the uh, pole here. So after reading, going back and reading the instructions, after going back and reading the instructions, it says you can tune it for any one band. But if you tune it for the center, or you, tune, you can tune it any one band or any one frequency, whatever you want, and with a proper length of wire, you can get down to 1.2 to 1 SWR or less. If you tune to the center of the band, they say the best you're gonna probably get is about two to one. Well, let me show you what I got. So tuning to the center of the 20 meter band, I got it down to 1.8. That's, that's as 
good as I'm getting it at the moment. I'm really having a hard time getting this thing to go any, any lower. So although, although they do say it's a no-tune end-fed half wave, you know, if you really want to get it down further, you're probably going to need a tuner for it. Now, the other thing that I tried out, I took the antenna. Let me show you. So I took the antenna. I have it, you know, way up. and have a good distance between the uh, antenna and the uh, spider pole over here. What I did is I raised the spider pole up a couple more feet, probably another eight, eight or nine feet, and brought this part closer in. So I had it like right over here. So I had a much higher, higher vertical uh, slope on it, thinking maybe that would help. That only made it worse and brought it back down to like 2.1, 2.2. So I brought it back out to here and I got you know, further away, lower the pole back down, probably about 20, 25 feet up right now. So that seems to be working. 1.8 SWR is the best I'm getting on this. And when I added the choke, I really don't think it did a whole lot for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let me, I'm gonna pause here I'm gonna add the choke to the antenna side and see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so lesson learned. Adding the choke on the antenna end went from 1.8 to 3.6, 3.7. So that's no bueno. I'm gonna attach over here on, on the end of the, on the radio end and see what happens with that. Be right back. Okay, so with the choke on the radio end, we got to 1.8, I think we we're at 1.7 earlier without the choke. So the choke is gonna really be inconsequential here. What I have noticed though, is this thing's a finicky little SOB. Um, depending on where I have the coax facing, I grabbed the coax and I brought it out this way and it went up to 2.0. I bring it back around and bend it this way, have it going all the way around and back up to the analyzer here. And you know, it goes to 1.7. So yeah, it's a finicky little thing, but again, you're gonna to have to decide and pick your battles with this one. I mean, you're gonna to have to have multiple wires or you're gonna to have to go get the QRP guys uh, wire trap kit and build traps for 20, or build for 20, 30, 40, and whatever other bands you want. Uh, and the kit's like 15 bucks. I just got one, I'm gonna play with it a little bit before I, you know, I'll probably shoot a video for it on the build. Uh, but honestly, uh, you know, if you really wanna play with something like this, that's, that's your prerogative, but I'd, I'd personally, I kind of prefer the KM4ACK antenna, which is a 49 to one end fed half wave. It does all the bands in one shot. Uh, easy to build, a little bit larger than this. Uh, you know, 35 bucks when he's got them in stock. You really just got to pay attention, get on his mailing list to get his antennas. I mean, you know, I, I used this one originally when I first got into radio, this is one of my first little antenna builds and I used it on FT8 and it worked okay for a while. You know, I did, I was able to make mag contacts and go on and so on and so forth, but nothing like what I do now with the DX Commander. So, I mean, I, I like collecting antennas, like having different antennas for different things, but this is not, uh, this is definitely not my first choice uh, for an antenna. I mean, it is QRP, so it's, you know, 20 watts or less. Uh, so it'd be great for using with your 705 and any other, uh, you know, G90, other radios like that. Uh, it'd probably be okay, but I'm just not overly, uh, I'm not overly ecstatic about this antenna that much anymore. I mean, it was a cool build and all, but I got to carry around multiple wires, get this thing going, you know, one wire for each band or set up traps and have all that stuff I got to deal with, with winding it back up and this and that. Uh, seems a little too, too much for me to deal with. My, uh, my patience level would not uh, tolerate that. So anywho guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I mean, I got down to 1.7 was the best SWR I got. Even with that, you probably still want to have a little bit of a tuner. They even say you might need a tuner to get it down even lower. Well, if it's a no tune end fed, why do I need a tuner? You know, I got a lot of, a lot of other ones out there. I tune up the, uh, the band or tune up the, the antenna or the wire by lengthening or shortening it. Use my rig expert to get my readings on it. And uh, it works. And I can take, I can put it back together or I can put it, put it away. Wait a couple weeks, go back out, set up exactly the same way again, and it works again. No fiddling with it or anything like that. So it's really, it's, it's a toss up and they're, they're cool. If you wanna learn how to build antennas, I highly suggest getting this thing to get the experience of, you know, wrapping toroids, doing your soldering, playing with the capacitors, all that kind of stuff, and, you know, messing with it. Maybe you guys can get better results out of it than I did. But with all the other antennas that I own, 
I really don't want to mess this thing that much anymore. <laughs> I've got way better things to do with my time right now. Uh, so I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching. I really hope this helped out a little bit. Like I said, it, it, it seems like it's a little bit finicky. It's got its pluses like any other antenna, and it's got its minuses like any other antenna. And you just got to weigh out what you're willing to put up with, what you want to deal with, and how much you want to how much you want to do to uh, get out there, get out there on the air, and, and play radio. Um, so, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up, and as always, subscribe if you haven't. Until then, guys, uh, this is Ham Radio for Non Techies. My name is Scott. My call sign is KI5NPL, and I am clear.